about 30 days ago, I stepped on the scale and it showed that I weighed 286 pounds. Never in my life have I ever weighed 286 pounds unless I was holding a small child or a small farm animal while standing on a scale. This prompted me to take a couple of actions. Number one was to identify what it was that was causing me to gain so much weight. Number two, how do I stop this current growth pattern that I was in, which was of a negative impact to my body and to my life? And three, how do I fix what's happening here? Number one, I identified that I have a problem with portion controls and just saying no to food in general. I have a sweet tooth and when I'm traveling, I tend to go out and have a beer or two after work with some of my coworkers and such, which in and of itself isn't a bad thing. A couple of that along with the portion control and the tendency to overeat a little bit and the sweets and whatnot, all that kind of add up together. What I proposed to do was to watch my portions, watch my alcohol intake, increase my water intake, and to use my Apple Watch. I'll show you some stuff here in a second on the screen somewhere about some watch shots here in a minute. In a minute. Suffice it to say that I started a, a, an exercise trend 50 days ago today. 30 days ago today, I stepped on a scale at 284, and today on my 30th day, I'm at 264. So I lost effectively 20 pounds in 30 days. No magic, no pills, no nothing simply watching my portions, cutting back on the alcohol content, increasing my water consumption, increasing my exercise level from nothing or the occasional airport run to 30 minutes plus per day on an elliptical treadmill or out in the world taking walks and whatnot. And by walking, it's not a stroll to the mailbox and back. This is actual walking when you're actually moving and getting your blood and heart rate going and such. That's been the magic. What I would like to do is to share my journey a little bit as a vlogger. Um, I'm not a traditional vlogger in any sense of the imagination. Um, most of my videos of late have been drone related and mostly corporate type stuff and whatnot, but I'm looking to do more of this lifestyle vlogging thing. If you like it, let me know please in the comments below. Yeah, and then don't forget to go over there and subscribe and like and all that kind of crap. Uh, good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of screenshots. The first screenshot is going to be the last 30 days of my activity as tracked via Apple Watch. This is not an endorsement of Apple Watch. I'm not paid by Apple in any way, shape, or form. I pay them uh, an awful lot of money to wear their stuff and have their computers in my background and, and all paraphernalia that I own of Apple. Um, another screenshot I'll show you here is from my scale, which is called a Withing Scale or Withing Scale. It's a Wi-Fi based scale that I use to track my weight uh, and body mass, which is another uh, terrible, terrible number. And uh, again, not sponsored by white things. I'm not being paid a penny by anybody to make this video, but this will show the trend of weight loss that I've encountered over the past 30 days. And again, today being the end of April, happy April 30th to everyone. Uh, this will show my progression into my, um, my journey of weight loss. My destination is unknown. I'm less interested in a number on a scale, more interested in, in how I feel and how I fit into my clothes, my activity levels, how I'm able to interact with my children, able to do my job, able to do what it is I need to get done. Sure, I would love to get down to 205, 210, but that's a number. It doesn't tell me how I feel. I might get down to 210 pounds and feel terrible and get back to 220 and feel great. I don't know yet. But what I am looking to do is to reduce my overall size, increase my activity levels, and to enhance and improve my life somewhat. Anyway, uh, the last thing I want to show you is a screenshot that I got today from Apple Watch showing 30 days of continuous activity and a 30 day move activity. If you're not familiar with how Apple Watch works, there's three rings you can fill in every day. One ring is your active, what they call an active calorie count. You're burning calories sitting here doing nothing. You burn calories doing stuff too. And what this does, it shows the calories burned doing stuff, not just the passive calories during out throughout the day. The next ring is the activity ring or the, uh, the exercise ring rather. And that's uh, the green ring. And to fill that ring in completely, it takes 30 minutes at least of exercise to do that. 
And again, just walking through an airport at a casual pace, walking to the mailbox or walking back and forth from school will not get you there. It's more of a walk with purpose. And the third ring is the standing ring. The blue ring shows how many hours a day you stood and moved around. Again, you just can't stand and stand still. You have to actually move around for about a minute to fill in that blue ring. And that's the only ring I have left today. I am at um, nine hours right now of movement, so another three hours, and then I'll have my perfect month. And uh, we'll round out April that way and look forward to doing the same thing in May. I will say that one of the biggest challenges has been travel. I do travel very extensively and very heavily, but I've found a way to uh, just have to get up an hour earlier in the mornings or maybe 45 minutes early in the mornings, hop on a treadmill. Every hotel and every place that I stay is, has, a, has a gym or exercise facility, so the excuse level is zero for not working out in a hotel. Um, I've been very, very fortunate to be able to either get up in the mornings and do my exercise prior to my meetings, which typically start at 8 or 8.30 a.m., depending on which uh, time zone I'm in. East Coast is obviously a bit more difficult than heading out west. Uh, or worst case is I, I have, I'll have a gap between the afternoon session of my meetings and dinner. I might have maybe a two-hour gap in there. So uh, when I was in Toronto a few weeks ago, I didn't have mornings open, but I had afternoons open. So. 4, 4.30 in the afternoon, I would go up to the gym for maybe 30 to 45 minutes, go back to my room, shower, catch up on some email, then go out to dinner with my colleagues and such uh, at around six. Worked perfectly. So the excuse, uh, the excuse boat has left. I can't hop on the boat anymore. Uh, but traveling is a challenge for me uh, because of the exercise thing. The benefit of travel is I'm not working from home, which I do quite frequently, and I have food or whatever available to me. So I've been on a quest to only bring in healthier, smarter foods to eat at home, cutting out the cutting out the crap, if you will, from my diet. Anyway, um, as I said before, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to follow me on my journey to to a, a healthier, more svelte Stephen, then hop on board. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Look for your comments down below.